then in 2007, uh, the wife of my former piano teacher donated her kidney to me and, and just saved my life. Just thinking of your wonderful mother, she had two children with both the blindness and the kidney crisis. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a very yeah, unusual family and uh, this gets even crazier because I got through my battle with kidney failure and then it was less than a year later that I auditioned for American Idol, like you were saying there. But uh, Christmas morning, I actually woke up before my season of Idol started and my sister had been taken to the hospital too. And she ended up with, with kidney failure. So the whole time I was on the show, she was back home, you know, dealing with what I had just dealt with. Uh, but there's so many amazing coincidence, coincidences in the book that people will have to read. But the same day I made top 10 was the same day she had a donor approved for her kidney transplant. Wow. And nobody watching American Idol would know that you were carrying this deep concern of while yeah. you were competing. It, it felt like living in two worlds, you know, I had the, the public world where I was finally living my dream. I, I had dreamed about making music on that kind of level for so long, uh, but my heart was torn because my sister was, was uh, very sick. Um, she made it out to the audience a few times, but a lot of times she wouldn't even feel well enough to, to sit up in the audience. It was, it was a gamble. Um, but. You know, I, I remember thinking, should I even go on Idol? And I'll never forget what she said. She said, Scott, I would rather be watching you on TV from my hospital bed rather than having you stand right next to me holding my hand. What and that's, that's just where she what wanted a family. me to be. And you have been the McIntyre family singers. You have sung at the Kennedy Center for the yes. Arts in Washington, D.C., visited uh, Laura Bush at the White House. We could go on. I can't tell all the chapters. <laughs> but Paula Abdul, no wonder she said that she called you an inspiration to the entire world through your commitment and through your talent. And while you were making Heartstrings, your songs on CD, not your first CD, yep. but your latest. Probably my, my, maybe my seventh CD, I'm not Seven. sure. Seventh. Uh, something else was going on, and I want to call it the best kept secret. It is the best kept secret. And uh, uh, she is the love of my life. We travel everywhere together right now. And uh, you we were have, married August 18th, we married, 2011. Yep, yeah, August 18th, just celebrated our one year anniversary. And uh, we have a surprise today. Christina, come on here. You beautiful newlywed. Hi. Couldn't believe it. You, you actually made the end of the book. I did. I thought, I thought yes. it didn't quite happen, but you're here. Yeah, I made it in the very end there. So yeah. it's a little surprise and, for and, anyone who reads it. And throughout. And, yes. and a little bit here and a little bit there. And then at the end, we, we uh, told about the wedding and the, you know, this a little bit. But, wonderful. you know, we met when we were, when I was 17. I was 14. She was 14. And um, if anyone knows the, the music man, uh, the classic production, The Music Man. The musical. Um, our church was doing a huge... 76 trombones. Yeah, 76 trombones and trouble, you know. And uh, <laughs> trouble. We, were, we were doing a huge community production of it uh, when we were younger at uh, Scottsdale Bible Church down in Arizona. And I was Mayor Shin, and she was a pink little lady. Ah, so that's <laughs> where it all started. <laughs> now, what I love, we saw the prom pick. That is uh, uh, one of the newer events for American Idol. Uh, tell us about the invitation, because I think that was a key <laughs> event. Well, it was, it was the first time uh, uh, that Idol had done something like that. Uh, it's usually, it was kind of the top 24 party disguise, but we've had fun going back each year and kind of uh, meeting the other contestants and, uh, you know, just wishing them well, getting to know them. So that was one of those, one of those events. But I'll never forget, I, uh, I asked her out after American Idol. We had been friends for all those years, and then I finished the Idol tour, and... I called her up uh, one night from Hawaii, and I asked her, you know, do you want to go on a date with an American Idol? And, and Christina? And it wasn't, it wasn't my way of like, you know, <laughs> trying to put a line over on you, but it was like, it was, I was just trying to be cute, and she said... I said, no. She said, no. But I'd like to go out with Scott McIntyre. Oh, so. yeah. Does me and all that over was, again. That was the best line, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How sweet. And your life? at the moment is based in Arizona. Yep, and we just, we travel all over the place. I think we, uh, after our honeymoon in Kauai, we started traveling again and went to show after show after show. Um, 
uh, Women of Faith tour this year with uh, oh. some people you may know and sure. uh, d just did a, a cruise with Michael W. Smith and, and we get to travel everywhere together right now, which is just so fun to be on the road with the one you love. Well, this is a remarkable story, truly remarkable. Are, are you uncomfortable if I were to give your age? <laughs> Tell me the truth. I won't say it if you don't want me to. Oh, my, yeah, no. Are you I'm, mind, Scott? I'm, I'm 27, she's 24. I mean, 23. 23. Almost 24. <laughs> Almost 24, it's coming up, yeah. I mean, I just, uh, yeah. just by way of illustration, you've lived several lifetimes, and uh, you have to read it for yourself. I'm going to allow you, do you want to say something about your song quickly? Well, this is, uh, this is a song called I Am Hope, and um, uh, I was doing this when we were on the Women of Faith tour this year, and it's just, you know, it's, it's an incredible parallel of, of the hope that Jesus is in all different times of our lives. Um, you know, a lot of people out there may have felt hopeless in the past, or maybe you feel hopeless right now. Maybe you're headed for a place where you're scared of feeling hopeless, and maybe you've put up some walls, and tried not even to go there to think about it, but I know uh, what that feels like. I know what it's like to, to feel abandoned or hopeless or just overwhelmed by the challenges in life. And, uh, but, but you should never forget Jesus is the most uh, reliable, powerful, uh, unfailing hope of this world. And so I wanted to kind of write a song um, about hope and kind of, kind of uh, as if hope is talking in the song. The lyrics are actually very special. We are going to listen for the words as you head for the piano, both of you. Thank you. What a wonderful so assistant you us. have forever now. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. Thanks. And I'm going to point you to our e-store e as uh, Scott prepares to sing. Not uh, one you want to miss. By faith, not by sight. Order yours today.